In the murky depths of the digital world, where shadows dance and secrets hide, operates a force known as APT-28. Also dubbed Fancy Bear, this sophisticated cyber espionage group has become synonymous with disruption and intrigue. Their actions reverberate on the global stage, impacting elections, sowing discord and stealing sensitive information. The new frontier is digital, and the weapons are lines of code. Governments, militaries, journalists, and political organizations have all found themselves in Fancy Bear's crosshairs. This is the story of APT-28, a deep dive into the shadowy world of cyber espionage. The intelligence community widely attributes APT-28 to the Russian military intelligence agency, the GRU. Early signs of APT-28's activities began to emerge in the mid-2000s, targeting governments and organizations aligned with NATO. These early campaigns often involved spear-phishing attacks, tricking individuals into revealing sensitive information or installing malware. As APT-28 honed its skills, their operations grew bolder and more sophisticated. The GRU, Russia's main military intelligence agency, operates in a world of secrecy and clandestine operations. Believed to be behind APT-28, the GRU's fingerprints are evident in the group's tactics and targets. The GRU's history is steeped in espionage, dating back to the Soviet era. Cyber espionage has become an integral part of modern intelligence gathering, allowing states to act with a level of deniability. The GRU's technical prowess and its willingness to engage in covert operations make it a prime suspect in the APT-28 case. APT-28's reach extends far beyond Russia's borders, targeting organizations and individuals across the globe. Governments, particularly those of NATO members and countries considered rivals to Russia, have been frequent targets. Beyond government entities, APT-28 has also set its sights on defense contractors, seeking to gain an edge in military technology. The media and journalists are not immune to APT-28's attention either. The group has targeted journalists, particularly those critical of the Russian government. The breadth and diversity of APT-28's targets underscore the group's global ambitions. APT-28's early campaigns provided glimpses into the group's evolving tactics and capabilities. Spear-phishing attacks were a common method, using carefully crafted emails to trick individuals into revealing their login credentials. Once a victim opened a malicious attachment or clicked on a malicious link, APT-28 could gain access to their computer. Another tactic employed by APT-28 was exploiting vulnerabilities in websites. By finding security holes in websites frequented by their targets, APT-28 could inject malicious code into these sites. These early campaigns demonstrated APT-28's willingness to adapt and innovate. As cybersecurity measures improved, APT-28 demonstrated a remarkable ability to adapt and evolve its methods. They began to incorporate more advanced techniques, such as zero-day exploits. APT-28 also began to employ more sophisticated malware designed to evade detection by antivirus software. They used encryption to protect their communications and data. This constant evolution made APT-28 a more formidable adversary. APT-28's success hinges on its sophisticated and ever-evolving toolkit. At the heart of this toolkit lies malware, malicious software designed to infiltrate and control target systems. APT-28 employs a variety of malware families, each with its unique capabilities and purposes. Some malware strains are designed for stealth, while others act more aggressively. In addition to malware, APT-28 leverages a range of exploits, which are pieces of code that take advantage of vulnerabilities in software. The group's mastery of these tools is a testament to its sophistication. Among APT-28's most notorious tools are the Sophocy and Sednet malware families. These malware families are complex and modular, consisting of various components that can be combined and deployed. Sophocy, also known as Duke, is a backdoor trojan that allows APT-28 to establish a persistent presence on compromised systems. Sednet, also known as APT-28, is another backdoor trojan linked to the group. 
It is known for its stealth capabilities and its ability to evade detection by antivirus software. The use of these sophisticated malware families underscores APT28's determination to maintain access to compromised systems. While APT28 possesses sophisticated malware and exploits, its initial point of entry often relies on phishing. Phishing is a social engineering tactic that tricks individuals into revealing sensitive information or clicking on malicious links. AP28 is known for its spear phishing campaigns, which are highly targeted and tailored to specific individuals or organizations. These phishing emails often appear to come from trusted sources. The emails may contain malicious attachments that, when opened, infect the victim's computer with malware. APT 28's success in using phishing highlights the importance of user education and awareness in cybersecurity. In the realm of cyber espionage, zero-day exploits are the ultimate weapon. These are vulnerabilities in software that are unknown to the software vendor. APT 28 has a history of using zero-day exploits to gain access to high-value targets. These exploits are highly prized because they allow attackers to bypass even the most up-to-date security measures. The use of zero-day exploits requires significant resources and expertise. The use of zero-day exploits by APT28 underscores the group's sophistication. The 2016 U.S. presidential election sent shockwaves through the world, not just for its unexpected outcome, but also for the unprecedented role of cyber espionage. At the center of this digital storm was APT28, the shadowy group widely believed to be an arm of Russian intelligence. Their target, the Democratic National Committee, the governing body of the U.S. Democratic Party. The attack began with spear phishing emails, tricking DNC staffers into revealing their login credentials. Once inside the DNC network, APT28 moved laterally, gaining access to sensitive emails and strategy documents. The stolen data was then leaked strategically through online platforms like WikiLeaks. The DNC hack was a watershed moment in cyber espionage, demonstrating the potential for digital attacks to disrupt democratic processes. The 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea, were meant to be a celebration of athletic achievement and international cooperation. However, even this global event became ensnared in the web of cyber espionage, with APT-28 taking center stage. The attack, dubbed Olympic Destroyer, targeted the game's IT infrastructure, aiming to disrupt operations. In the hours leading up to the opening ceremony, critical systems went offline, impacting internet access and broadcasting feeds. While the attack caused significant disruption, it failed to derail the games entirely. Organizers were able to restore most systems relatively quickly. The Olympic destroyer attack showcased APD-28's audacity and willingness to target high-profile events. Attributing cyber attacks with certainty is a complex endeavor. However, in the case of APT-28, a confluence of evidence pointed the finger squarely at the Russian GRU. Cybersecurity researchers, analyzing the tools, tactics, and infrastructure used in APT-28's campaigns, uncovered numerous links to Russia. The malware used in the attacks, the servers used for command and control, and even the timing of the attacks aligned with Russian interests. The U.S. and its allies, confident in their assessment, publicly attributed the DNC hack and other APT-28 campaigns to the Russian government. The fallout from these attributions was significant, leading to sanctions against Russia and heightened tensions between world powers. While the DNC hack and the Olympic destroyer may be APT-28's most infamous operations, they represent only a fraction of the group's activities. Over the years, APT-28 has been linked to a vast array of cyber espionage campaigns, targeting governments, militaries, journalists, and organizations worldwide. In Europe, APT-28 has targeted government ministries, political parties, and defense contractors. In the Middle East, APT-28 has targeted governments, military institutions, and energy companies. They have been linked to attacks on the Saudi Arabian government, the Turkish military, and Qatari organizations. APT-28's global reach and diverse targets underscore the group's strategic importance to the Russian government.
The world of cyber espionage is a constant arms race, with attackers and defenders locked in a perpetual struggle for dominance. APT-28 exemplifies the dynamic nature of this conflict. As defenders develop new security measures, APT-28 adapts, evolving its tactics, tools, and techniques. Every successful attack provides valuable intelligence, but it also exposes APT-28's methods. This information is then used to bolster defenses and develop new detection signatures. This cycle of adaptation and counter-adaptation fuels the arms race in cyberspace. APT-28's early campaigns relied heavily on relatively simple tools and techniques. Spear phishing emails with malicious attachments were a common method of gaining initial access. However, as cybersecurity awareness grew, APT-28 was forced to up their game. The group's toolkit underwent a significant transformation shifting from simple scripts to custom-built malware and sophisticated exploits. This evolution was driven by a need for stealth, persistence, and effectiveness. Section 3. Staying ahead of the curve, adapting to enhanced security measures. The cybersecurity landscape is in a constant state of flux, with new threats emerging and defensive measures evolving at a rapid pace. APT-28, far from being left behind, has consistently demonstrated an ability to adapt to these changes, modifying its tactics and techniques to circumvent enhanced security measures. One notable adaptation has been the increasing use of encryption. By encrypting their communications and data, APT-28 makes it significantly more difficult for defenders to intercept and analyze their activities. Encrypted channels provide a secure conduit for command and control, allowing APT-28 to remotely manage malware, steal data, and even erase their tracks without detection. Another area of adaptation has been the adoption of living off the land techniques. This involves leveraging legitimate tools and software already present on target systems to carry out malicious activities. By using trusted programs for malicious purposes, APT-28 can blend in with normal network traffic, making their activities harder to detect. Section 4 the future of the threat, a persistent and evolving adversary. AP-28's history shows its adaptability and resilience. Despite setbacks and enhanced security measures, the group remains a persistent cyber espionage threat. APT-28 will likely continue evolving, refining tactics in response to the changing cybersecurity landscape. AI and automation could enhance their capabilities, leading to more sophisticated attacks. The rise of IoT and 5G presents new opportunities and challenges for APT-28. The battle between APT-28 and defenders is a high-stakes game of cat and mouse. The Enduring Threat – A Digital Cold War AP-28, the shadowy group known as Fancy Bear, has left an indelible mark on the landscape of cyber espionage. Their actions, often audacious and always calculated, have disrupted elections, stolen sensitive information, and sown discord on a global scale. Their existence underscores the reality that the battleground has shifted, moving from physical borders to the interconnected networks of the digital world. This new era of conflict, often dubbed the Digital Cold War, is characterized by persistent espionage, covert operations, and a constant jockeying for advantage in the cyber domain. APT-28, as an arm of Russian intelligence, plays a key role in this ongoing struggle, advancing the Kremlin's interests through espionage, disruption, and influence operations. Their targets ranging from government ministries and defense contractors to media organizations and political campaigns reflect the breadth of Russia's geopolitical ambitions. The tools and tactics employed by APT-28, constantly evolving to stay ahead of security measures, highlight the sophistication and determination of this adversary. The threat posed by APT-28 is not a passing storm. It is a permanent fixture in the digital landscape a constant reminder that the price of security is eternal vigilance. Forging a secure digital future. Cyber threats affect us all. The digital realm is now a battleground. Technology alone can't win this fight. We need collaboration. Innovation, cooperation, and awareness are key. Governments must set norms and hold actors accountable. The private sector must secure critical infrastructure. Individuals should adopt safe computing practices. Together we can forge a secure digital future.